How's it going everybody? Kyle here. Uh, today we're actually out at a local gun range uh, that I'm a member of and we're just going to be playing around with uh, a little 22. It's the uh, Ruger SR22. So it's this guy right here. A um, little bit of a modification of just the uh, standard Ruger 1022 since this is the SR22. I've added the uh, crane stock on here as well as a um, reproduction uh, EOTech 552 holographic sight. Uh, main reason why I'm out here today is I just picked up this rifle. I've only been to the range once with it, so I'm still sighting it in. Uh, but also picked up these, uh, what are these, these things are the HC3R magazines. So it's actually 25 rounds uh, in the magazine, as well as there's a, a side compartment that will allow you to hold another 20 uh, rounds of, of 22 long rifle. So we're going to be testing out the longevity of the, the magazines, see how many failure to fires we got, failure to ejects, that kind of stuff. Um, see if they're magazine related or rifle related. Shooting at a metal reactive target, uh, it's about 25 yards out. And I want to take a look at this magazine itself. This, again, this is the HC3R uh, magazine. Yep, HC3R magazine. And uh, we're just going to load it up to its full capacity. And what we're going to be shooting today is the uh, Winchester uh, hollow point. It's the copper plated. Um, I found that, uh, at least for this rifle, I only had one failure to fire out of, um, out of using this ammunition. So very cheap. I got um, 2,220 rounds for about 120 bucks. So a pretty decent price. It's, it's cheap ammunition for sure. So what we're going to want to do here is just pull back on this little um, slider here. It allows you to easily load the magazine. And then just give it a little little twist and it'll actually hold itself in place. That allows you to remove the clip, and it is called a clip, and just start feeding in rounds through here. Now, you'll know that you're, um, you're full because there, you won't be able to see it more than likely, but there's actually a little marker on the side of this clip here that says 20. So the max capacity of the clip itself is, is 20 rounds. Very interesting feature is you can actually store them along the side here. So instead of putting it right in the main compartment, there's a, a storage compartment along here. So what you can do is just slide them in, and now they're stored for later. And we'll just do the same thing. Load up another 20 rounds. And there's 20. So just slide that in. Okay. And you can see, you can actually shake it around. It's, there's nothing that's going to happen here because the clip itself actually holds your, uh, your pouch there with all the other uh, 20, uh, 20 rounds in place. Give this a little twist, and it'll launch forward. Now, what you have to do is actually pull back on this, give it a little bit of shake so it seats properly, and then you can go forward. From there, you have to manually add five additional rounds in. And you have to do that upside down kind of flip, uh, flip process to make sure that the rounds seat uh, properly. Uh, I think that was five, but just double check here. No, that'll be five right Alright, so let's get to the shooting now. We'll take a look downrange and you'll see exactly what I'm shooting at. Alright, let's see how this magazine and rifle fare together. Now again, I haven't really sighted it in too much, but uh, we'll see how we do.
pretty reliable so far. Let's get another view up. All right, so that was an interesting shoot there. Um, the accuracy in itself was, was pretty decent considering uh, I haven't really sighted in the rifle too much. Uh, the interesting thing though was with the, the magazines, they're pretty finicky on, on how you load them. And I knew that before I bought them and there was a lot of people saying, oh, you know, there's a lot of steps that you have to go through. It looks pretty simple. But um, I think that some of the, uh, the issues that I was having with the rifle in itself actually wasn't the rifle. It was more the magazine and, and how I loaded it. Because if you don't load it properly, you kind of get these, uh, these, like the ejects was fine. Um, so there wasn't any failure to eject. But reloading another round, it really kind of pushed, um, pushed it in just the wrong way. And I, I think it's just the way that... Uh, I loaded the uh, the magazine, so I think just with more um, more experience on um, properly loading these, uh, we we should be we should be pretty good, and um, see if we can recommend these mags. I don't know yet. I'm going to do a lot more shoot uh, uh, shooting out of these magazines before I can give a definitive answer. But I think more so it's just the inexperience that I have with uh, with these specific magazines for for the first time out. Let's just do a nice little. Uh, quick fire test out of this. Interesting. So again, same situation as before. It just kind of shoves the round in there. Look at that. I mean, that's bent to, to hell, right? Very interesting. And we still have another mag here. Let's see how well it does. So we're empty. I don't know, guys. Seems, uh, seems a little fishy about these mags. Forward a bit. All right. Let's see how it goes. Same situation as before. Hmm. Well, I definitely can't do a uh, definitive answer on the reliability of these things when I'm getting all these uh, these failures here. Um, again, could just be the inexperience that I have with, with loading the mags properly. Uh, time will tell. Uh, we'll probably have to do another video to give a 100% uh, definitive answer about reliability. But either way, I mean, for, for a magazine to allow you to have 45 rounds at the ready, um, especially in, in Canada, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Now we're going to test out the accuracy out of the SR-22 as best as I can. There's barely any wind out here. Um, it's a really calm day, cloudy, so um, let's see how that goes. All right, so let's take a look at the SR-22 accuracy. So what we're going to do is um, to eliminate any human error um, on, on my part, uh, I have it, just a cheap little champion um, bench rest, shooting set, picked up a Canadian tire, it was, I think it was like 50 bucks, really inexpensive. Uh, if you're a first time shooter, 
um, this is, is definitely a good set for you. Um, so, we already have the magazine loaded up. Let's check out the accuracy. Help if you actually uh, charge the rifle. Actually, it looks like it did pretty good. It's only at 25 yards, so we'll push it out to a uh, 50 yard test and uh, see how that works. So that was just the end of the uh, 50 yard accuracy test and I have the target right here and you know what I think that's pretty decent for um, a cheap Chinese $50 fake EOTech sight um, and just not really sighting the rifle in too much uh, for 50 yards you can definitely uh, definitely hit your target for sure and with, with decent accuracy um, especially when I'm not really firing the most, you know, uh, most expensive 22 ammunition out there. Um, this this is definitely a um, uh, a very accurate rifle, um, and you know, I'm I'm actually pretty impressed with it. This is the uh, the 50th anniversary uh, edition of the 10.22, the Ruger 10.22. Um, in SR22 form, so the bolt does have the nice little 50 years um, uh, laser engraving on there. Other than that, this is just your regular 1022, folks. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, if you want me to do more videos, uh, just let me know in the comments section below. Uh, like the video, share it, do whatever you guys uh, want to do, and uh, I'll probably see you at the next one.